Hello everyone, Ryan Hayashi and Marco from the Hayashi Dojo Karate team. Thank you for joining us and watching again. This is episode 10 of our Let's Learn Karate home training uh, video series. Uh, if you've watched this far, apparently you're interested in learning about karate, training along with us. And uh, I would like to introduce this episode um, with some uh, unfortunate news. On a more serious note, a very senior uh, karate master within the karate world uh, died recently. This was Master Teruyuki Okazaki. He was the most senior uh, uh, instructor of my generation growing up in Canada, in North America. Between 1977 and 2007, he spent uh, 10 years with his organization being the largest representative group of our style, uh, uh, Japan Karate Association, also known as JKA. Um, and he recently died. He just died a few days ago now, as of this recording on April 21st, uh, 2020, uh, from complications due to the coronavirus. Uh, Master Okazaki was 88 years old. And uh, the, um, a great influence on my karate, a great inspiration. He, uh, he was instrumental in building up uh, karate within North and South America through the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the new millennium. He uh, devoted his life to karate, opened his first school in Philadelphia, in the United States, in 1961 when he moved uh, from Japan to America. So he was one of the first generation pioneers. I would like to introduce uh, a brief history. Master Teruyuki Okazaki, born 1931 in Fukuoka and passed away April 21st, 2020. He uh, le first learned Kendo, Judo, and Aikido before starting karate in 1947 at age 16. Uh, he learned under Gichin Funakoshi, the Grand Master of our Shotokan Karate style, and Masatoshi Nakayama, who was one of the uh, founding members of our organization, the Japan Karate Association. He uh, attended, uh, I didn't write it here, but he attended uh, Taku Shoku Daigaku, Taku Shoku University, which uh, generated many of the top masters of this organization, the JKA, Japan Karate Association. In 1961, Master Okazaki moved to the United States to teach karate. 1977 founded his organization, the ISKF, International Shotokan Karate Federation, uh, North, North and South America's largest karate organization, uh, which then in 2007 became an independent uh, uh, group but after three decades of producing uh, members throughout two, two large continents. He was a uh, tenth dan, and uh, he was my first high-ranking uh, JKA master, and the, also the examiner of my first dan, or black belt examination, and my second dan before I left uh, Canada to move to, to Japan. And uh, I'll just show a short picture history, because uh, I believe this is very interesting to know the people behind the art we practice. This is an old photo from the 1950s. This is Master, I hope you can see okay, Okazaki in his 20s with his teacher, Masatoshi Nakayama, who would have been uh, about 40, and their teacher, Master Gichin Funakoshi, who should have been in his mid-80s at the time of this, of this photo. Sorry, I'm turning the page this way, but you'll, you'll see it as we watch the video later. Yes. This is then uh, around 1970. This is Master Nakayama, who would have been in his late 50s visiting uh, Master Okazaki in his school in Philadelphia. You can tell uh, from the, the flags. Um, Master Okazaki here would have been around 39 or 40. This is over 20 years ago now. This is. Uh, 1995 is now 25 years ago. Master Okazaki is here in the middle. He was 64 years old. 
I was a, a university student at, at that time. I was 22 years old, and this is a, an early photo of us together. And then one last one, which was taken in 2013, is now seven years ago. Master Okazaki was 82 years old at the time. I was 40, and this was, again, visiting Master Okazaki in his um, dojo in Philadelphia. And you can see uh, the, uh, the picture, uh, pictures at the center front of the dojo of his teachers, Master Nakayama on this side, and Master Gichin Funakoshi here on this side. So uh, we, we would like to remember uh, Master Okazaki as a very senior master who greatly influenced our style and he'll be uh, uh, greatly missed and of course remembered by his, his many students around the world. So, Master Teruyuki Okazaki. Okay, having said that, let's train. Okay. All right, let's do this. I Okay. It's now episode 10. I think they deserve a big deal on the side of these. Okay, let's face front. Facing front. I think it's going to be nice. Okay. Sit up. Also. Now we face each other in a case like this. For joining in, if you don't mind, we'll reverse okay. sides again just because I, I'm used to being. Uh, this is part of the traditional uh, position on the floor when, when you're training. That uh, in this case, people senior to me should be standing on this side, and the people that are uh, uh, that I'm teaching should be standing on this side. It's just uh, part of Japanese culture. Okay, so I was be not too Okay, we're actually standing perfect, I would say, to do get on the right my day. Okay, now we're going to do changing legs. Each knee some she each knee some. Good. Now change to Gapitsuki position. And nice and loose warming up, we're going to do Kizamitsuki Gapitsuki. Now look, look at my hips. You'll notice it's not this. That's only hands moving. My entire upper body rotates behind the punch. I'll show from the side. If I don't rotate my body, the movement is this. It's shorter and has less power. Okay, with the hip rotation, dong. Can you see? This shoulder comes forward, and then this hip comes back. And then, okay, let's try. Can to the high Song. So tiny machine. Go. I usually tell my students to think of it not only as turning your body, you are turning the body. 
not only putting your hip and back leg and shoulder behind it, you're doing all that, you can think of taking a pencil and holding it here in your pelvis against the upper thigh. If you have that, that image of closing here, this, this helps. Change legs, sink legs. Ready? Captain Tsuki position. Yeet. Knee. Song. Shi. Go. Rook. Sheet. Hutch. Kyu. Jo. Ai. Okay. Change legs. Now, from Yakutsuki position, we're going to do three blocks. Slow motion. Jodan Aki Uke, high block. Remember, the pulling hand hikite, traditionally the open hand comes up first. There's the block. Okay? Now, Chudan Soto Uke, same arm, same arm. Chudan Soto Uke, second block. Okay? Ginan Barai, third block. And then gap this one. Okay? So first movement, open hand over your head, we call this the grabbing or pulling hand hikite. Then high block jodan agi uke. Second movement. Okay? Now we're using the same blocking arm. Turn the hip open. Okay, if it helps, sometimes we present this pulling hand hikite as open. Okay, once we go fast, I tend to close the hand. This is called chudan soto uke. The middle block from outside. Now remember, if my elbow is at a level with my shoulder, like this, this is protecting the head. Dong. We call Jodan from the side looks like this. That's Jodan Soto Okay? If the fist is level with my shoulder, we're covering here is called Chudan, mid level Soto Uke. So, upper level is your neck, uh, throat, and head. Here. Boom. Chudan. Lower the elbows here. Okay? Good. And then, get on the idle block. Here. Dong. Good. Now, watch the hips. First movement from reverse punch, Kyakutsuki position. And always remember, we're working with a mirror so we can see between our eyes. Once we're facing front, that's our middle line we call chushi. Chushi. Okay? That's where we place this fist. First movement, number one, hikite. Okay, pulling in is each. Number two is jodan agi uke. Watch the body turn. Okay? Otherwise, it would be this. That's a smaller and weaker movement. The whole body turns. Okay? Number three is Preparation for Chudan Soto Uke. Where my elbow and my shoulder is, that's where my fist ends right in front of me. Number three, Song. Dong. End position is, again, center line, right here. Okay? Number four, open. Uh, sorry, so number four, we prepare for low block. Now, as I do this, I bring the elbows together and bring this arm this fist at least, again to the center line, and put the elbows together, automatically my body faces front. Okay, it's five, six, good. The low block again, without the body turn is only this. We want this. Seven, reverse punch will automatically turn your hips. Okay, so Marco stays as he is. I'll turn facing Marco so you see both views. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, when your hips face front, we call the shoulder neck to test is can you put your hands together like this? When your body is turned to the side, we call hanmi. Okay? From the side, it looks like the shoulder neck. Hanmi. Alright? From the acronym's we position. One, the shoulder neck. One, hikite, up. Okay, gamma to reverse point to start position. One, is shoulder, front position. Two, 
Hot knee, side position. Three, shoulder, front position. Four, hot knee. Five, shoulder. Six, hot knee. Seven, shoulder. Now we're already front position, shoulder. Each, knee, song, chi, go, rok, chi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. Each, knee, song, chi, go, rok, chi. One more. Each knee, song, chi, go, rok, chi. Okay, change legs. That's a basic sequence for today. We'll be working on that. Please start in reverse punch position. Okay, again, we can see in the mirror our center line. If we're facing front, between my body here should be in line with between my eyes. My nose and throat here, the knot of my belt, which if I'm wearing it straight should be my belly button, down. We call it center line chushi. This is shomen, facing front. This is hanmi, facing side. Okay? So starting reverse punch position. First uh, technique is jodan agi uke hai block. Slowly. Long. Then we do chudan soto uke, middle block outside. Then Gedan Barai Long Block, three blocks. Then Reverse Punch, Gyatu Tsugi. Awesome. Okay, now we have seven counts. First count, you'll notice our hips are now to the front. Showman position, front position. First movement is Hiki Te, our pulling hand goes up. Number two, Jodan Agi Uke, our rising high block. Same arm comes to the side. And this one goes forward. Sometimes it's an open hand. When we go fast, I, 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 it's almost like a punch forward to fist. Four, chudan soto uke. It's an outside middle block. And as the body turns, the fists end up, the arm ends up here. Okay. Five, six, seven. Okay. So now, Anytime I can do this like I'm water skiing, or like this, and put both hands together, that's the test. You know you're straight on. Show men, front position. When one arm comes forward, you know it's hand knee. Okay? Now, if you turn the whole body. Now, starting reverse position, I count seven counts. First count, the starting position is already straight. One, we stay straight. Two, High block, agi uke, turn to the side. This one goes to the side. Three, we turn straight. Four, turn side. Five, to bring those elbows together, I bring the shoulder forward. Six, side, seven, automatically because it's a reverse arm punch, front. Okay? So I use the words now Japanese, shomen, hanmi. Okay? We start shomen. Each is shomen. Ni, hanmi. Song, shomen. Shi, hanmi. Ko, shomen. Rok, hanmi. Shi, chi, shomen. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. Each. Ni, Song, Shi, Go, Rok, Shi, Each, Ni, Song, Shi, Go, Rok, Shi, Okay, one more time. Follow along, guys. Each, Ni, Song, Shi, Go, Rok, Shi, Okay? A little bit faster. Each knee. Sanji. Gorok. Chi. Okay. So we're still warming up, everybody. Jump with us. Jump up and down. Let's 
jump the feet side to side. Let's jump the feet forward and back. Let's do jumping jacks. The weather's slowly getting nice out there, Aqua. Makes me feel alive. We've got sunlight coming in. Let's go side to side. Yeah, you're cheating on the side. <laughs> I'm doing like a 45. I'm trying to look into the camera as if I'm talking to okay, somebody. Somebody at home is following along. Keep going, my legs are still going. It's belt opened up. That happens sometimes when you wear uh, karate uniform. Oh, me too. That's not what went up, okay. I got me. Okay, pants. Pants are still up, belt's still on. Good. Nice and loose. Throw those hands forward, get the blood flowing. That's the Pita Sensei one. Yes. Sides. Sides front. One meter long. Okay. And slowly flex the knees side side. Love your knees, everyone. Oh, do you know that? Mm -hmm. Something just went click. Put the feet together. Make little circles. Other direction. I like to feel my knees when doing this. Yes? This thing. Who knows? That could make a difference just by feeling your knees. Yeah, like the screw into the You connect your mind to the knee. Exactly. You become one with your own knee. Exactly. <laughs> Same thing. So, shoulder width apart, little circles. Change direction. Okay. Swivel the feet back and forth. When you stand up like this and the heels go up, you stand on cold sheet, the ball of the foot. And you raise the ball of the foot, you stand on the heel, it's kakato. Koshi, kakato. Rotate the shoulders. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Uh, they say motion is lotion, man. <laughs> the body's the motor. If you don't use it, yeah. that's when things deteriorate. Okay, the arms. Sport is more. Was this uh, Winston Churchill? Uh, could be, yeah. Uh, you looked you looked the part. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with that. <laughs> Modern science now shows. I guess that was a time in the 20s and 30s when some people actually said that as a as a badge of honor to wear. Or we, we, we are not doing any of this motion stuff outside of the world. If it was Winston Churchill, you never know. It might have been in the 1920s or 30s, if you were upper class, uh, yeah, was hoity toity, you, you didn't do anything physical, you were not a slave, yeah, 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 exactly right. other than going hunting with the good old boys, yeah, well done, yeah. lads. <laughs> Jolly good. Jolly good. <laughs> All right. Now, one meter. Okay. And stretch forward. <clears throat> Oh, I feel that in the back of the legs. Oh, whoa. Okay. Let it dangle down. 
Oh, Swift. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, let's do one more of those. Let's go check these sights up. <coughs> the slower you go, the more you can actually feel the individual muscle fibers just. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I need to do more regular stretching, especially in the morning. Yeah, yeah this is something you gotta do on a regular basis, guys. Okay, now, keeping the feet long and parallel, let's bring the weight over to one side. You can only go so far and so, so low before your foot distorts, but just find that comfortable point, and this just, it's only a warm-up stretch, guys. All right, change. Each knee song she one more time each knee song she okay now Marco and I are gonna face this way with front stand Zenku Tsudachi. Now watch this foot because I know that way this foot moves away from the camera. Let me show from the side. If I'm looking at Marco and I want to look at you, that's not what I'm doing. There's no balance. The feet are not in one line. One foot moves so that I have a relative shoulder width facing you. I'll come a little closer so they can see. All right. Not this. I'm now straight in front of them. Not stable. Is this. This foot moves here. That's the position. Can you see? Okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm stable. Okay. Let's look. There it is. So this foot comes. This way, okay. Let's open it up sideways, lower it down as slow as we can. Oh. Now, in order to feel and get to know your own hip range of motion, start with your hands together and see how low you can go with both feet flat on the floor. You'll reach a point for me here when your body can't do it, and one arm comes back. That's honey, okay? If we want show men, you have to lift this heel, this knee points down, and both hips go straight. Let's go show men and hold 10 seconds each. Knee, song, she, go, rook, she, hatch, you, ja, change. So now we look this way. This one moves back. Good. Let's do it together. Start with the hands together and pointing forward. Lower it as low as you can go without distortion. Both feet flat on the floor. And at some point, one arm is pulled back. That's hand knee position coming from the hips. Okay? Good. If you want showman, rotate from the hip, turning the knee down, and naturally the heel comes up. We hold 10 seconds each. Knee, song, chi. Go, rock, sit, hatch, cue, jiro, okay, keep it up, chi. Turn the feet and knees outward, sink it down, rotate, shoulders forward, each. Ni, song, shi, go, rock, sit. Hot. Okay. Now we train Koku Tsudachi. First, just weight transfer of the hips. The feet are staying double shoulder width. It's about a meter or three feet for average height guys like this. The feet stay, but the body moves here. Yeah. Change each knee. Song. She. Now we're going to turn the foot outward and look with our eyes this way. Okay? So changing Kol Kutsudanchi reverse stance. 70% weight here, 30% here. Watch my, watch my core. It's not this. It's not me staying in the, in the middle. It's this. Okay? 
Let's try it. Each. Knee. Som. Shi. Go. Rock. Chi. Hatch. Two. Jukya. Now, we go Chudan Kamai, which our mid, is a mid-level fighting guard. Lift the heel and we bring it down into a stretch. Sit down. Oh, oh, yeah. If you have to use your hands, okay, to stabilize, but try to keep the hands up if you can. Okay. Eight times each. Oh, you can feel that, yes. You don't do that for seven or ten days, and now you feel it in the hips, the lower back, through your butt, and all through the inside of the legs. Knee. Stable, stable, stable. Now I'm not collapsing and falling down. I'm using this as the motor to control my body weight. It's a body weight exercise. Waha! <laughs> oh. Song. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, feel it. Oof, feel it. Good That's morning, it. Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Chi. Go. Supporting with your hands, open the knees. If that's too easy, try to get your belly button towards the floor. If that's too easy, pull your hips back to your feet. And think between the knees, make the knees as long as you can. If that's too easy, bring the belly button forward towards the floor. If that's too easy, bring the hips back towards your feet. Okay, change legs. One leg straight. We think of the knees. Out.
Straight. Stretch forward. This one's actually one of my favorite exercises because I've been doing this since I was five or six years old. Oh, okay. So, uh, you started the stretch as a kid. Yeah. Why? What were you doing at the time? The yoga stuff. Oh, yoga. Very good. Very good. Okay. Keep the same leg position. Turn your body so that you're facing the knee line and go past the knee. This one's called the knife in yoga. The knife in yoga. You know what they call it in Hindi, in traditional mm -hmm. Indian yoga? They call it the knife. <laughs> we are doing a grand masala knife. <laughs> okay. To the knee line, sure. You know, th this movement, this stretch, I never used to feel anything. Oh, you know, now I do. At this age, at 46, I feel it all the way through the hip and lower back. Mm -hmm. That's a nice, nice catch. Oh, catch yeah, it's catchy, it's catchy yeah. huh? All right, to the leg. Let's go this way. To our left. The key is to breathe out and slowly relax into it. Yeah. Let's try the other side. Other side is a uh, kotai or hantai. Yeah. the sides. Elbows up. We're not turning the body. We're going sideways trying to get the elbow to the floor inside of the leg. I am 
Empire, it is right. Let's do one more time each side. Yeah. Oh, that feels awesome. All right. For those of you who have done karate, uh, any sport over a longer time of years, yoga, and you've done stretching before, you know how awesome this feels afterwards. If this is new to you, just do it, man. You'll feel alive. Stretch. Trust us. Let's, let's do the larger version of that movement, which is knees up. And then just support with your arms on the sides and let the knees fall side to side. Oh. This is very beneficial for the low back. Oh, this is a lower back stretch. Yeah. Try straight legs so you get a, a little bit bigger stretch. There's more weight. Yeah, try to get There we go. Kicks. We'll do 10 of those. All right. Just stand naturally with the feet facing out and get those hips as low as you can. Okay, because we're used to this movement, we're down here. Now the exercise is to come up and kick 10 times. Each stand up, kick, knee, so, she, go, rope. Sit, hunt, kill, jump. Oh, okay. Next leg exercise is kibudachi. 
Now, what we're going to do, actually start feet together. It's three movements. One, just put your foot out in that oh, squat stance, keep it out. It's about three feet under your arm. Okay. Two, put, go into a cross stance, cross step, called Kol Sadachi. One, side step. Two, put your foot behind the foot. Three, and then you're just facing front. One, keep it up to the Two, three. Three movements, got it? Each. Knee, foot's behind your foot, song, so you turn. Each. Knee. Song. Now, the exercise is from down here. Let's turn. Uh, Let's rock and roll, Marco. Uh, if you can, keep your hands up. First movement, get that leg out straight. Eyes this way. Number two, put this foot behind the, the extended foot. Behind. Three, turn and look in the direction. Okay. One. Two. Three. All right. Out. You all right? Yeah. Just please. watch me. I'll do it two more times. Here. Follow me if you can. This builds up the hip and leg muscles. We do ikkyodo all together in one sequence. Each. Check it out. 
We'll do two down first. Each knee. Pull back. Each knee. Now we're going to do ten. Each knee. Song. Shi. Go. Rock. Shi. Hatch. Okay. And relax. The next level is to do that same thing with one push up in the middle. Can you handle ten of those? Or eight? Can you count eight or ten of those? Ten. Mark was going to count ten, I'll try to follow along. So the sequence is push up, walk over. Push up, walk over. Okay. I need to go. Let's go. Ready? Let's see everything up here. Yeah. So we're going to keep it in form. I need to go. Ah, push up first. Push up. Knee. Some. Chi. Go. Okay, 
Let's do it again. Each. Ni. Son. Shi. Ro. Ro. Okay, it's two blocks each. Two blocks each. Okay, now we've covered all those individual techniques before in the last nine lessons. Now we're going to combine it all one arm. Okay, so this arm, uh, our left arm goes first. Follow as it's comfortable for you guys. So, Jolan Aguke, each. Now use the same arm. Chudan Sotuke, ni. Use the same blocking arm. Bring it to your ear. Som. Got it? Now the other arm comes up. Each. Ni. Som. Okay, each. Ni. Som. Each. Ni. Som. One more time. Each. Ni. Som. Each. Ni. Som. <laughs> yeah, let's try one more time. So cool. we're blocking with this, this arm is coming up. Each. This one pulls down. Each. Now, when we show it slowly, it comes all the way to our sides. But in practical application, you just bring the arm along your side and then close to the middle. It becomes a small movement. Knee. And then, as we make it a big move, you don't have to come all the way to the ear. You come as much as you can towards the shoulder and then circle it down. Song. Each. A little more direct. Knee. Song. Okay, now I'll show it one more time, both arms moving, and then we're going to change it to a one arm action. So both arms, each, this one comes up as a grabbing hand, called hikite, pulls to the waist, each. Now double arm movement, this one comes forward so we can pull back to the waist, knee. And then basic version, this one comes forward again, so the elbows touch, Some. Each, here's complete movement, classic version. Ni, song. Now we do one arm movement, just arm up. Each, same feeling of your body behind it. Ni, it becomes more of a body turn than a hand movement. Song, home. Each, ni. Som. Each. Ni. Som. Each. Ni. Som. Each. Ni. Som. Each. Ni. Som. Now, we're going to add a, a fourth movement. It's going to be block, 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 and then the other arm we'll do a counter punch, okay? We start with this arm, goes up in a high block, agi uke each. Now it comes from here to here, chudan soto uke, middle block, ni, son, punch other hand, chi, on, okay? Now the punching hand goes up, each, ni, son, other hand punch, chi, Okay, this one goes up. One. Now you'll notice already intuitively what my body does. It's not this. That's only my hand. I'm pulling this shoulder back so that this one shoots forward. So it's, it's not this. It's this. See the difference? Knee. Uh, two, three. Here you really feel it. So I go here, here, like that. And then from here, because this side is forward, how many number four is gone, my body turns into it. You see the dynamic? It's not just this. That's only my hand. It's. Now from here, look at the power of the punch. If I punch Marco here, you'll see the difference in power between this. That's only my hand. 
That's in hand. From here, it has a different dynamic line. Okay? So, now this hand is front. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Each. Um, so the feeling is you pull that elbow in a little bit and then you shove the elbow. Yeah, so it's got it. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Ni. Son. Chi. Ikyodo. It's four movements. Mm -hmm. Slow motion. We call it Ikyodo Yukuri. Slowly. The entire sequence together through each. Okay, let it flow a little bit faster. Each. Knee. Song. Chi. Go. <laughs> Let's try this one. Hodge! Ah, no. <laughs> That's why we train. Good! Two more. Let's get it perfect. Last job! Okay, now, what we're going to do is cut out that second arm. Okay? It's going to have a different flow. I get on the back of my tail. Start reverse punch position. Now, this time, even if the hand goes up, which is fine, because you're changing legs, that's fine. Don't pause and just go straight into the block. That's one. Well, now from here, 
trying not to bring this hand forward if you can, and just bring this elbow from here down here. Now, if you bring it straight down, you're just sliding down. Go too wide. Find how small you can make it with still with yes, power behind it. Too small, there's nothing there. Too big is too slow and you're open. Went from here, yes, here, okay? Find that middle arc where you have maximum power and the movement is as direct as you can. That's second move two. Now three, keep the elbow where it is. Keep the elbow where it is, okay? It's almost like a half circle, but more. Half circle looks like this, <laughs> okay? If you turn your hips into it, it's this, that means you can bring it over to your shoulder for extra power. So, that's it, okay? And then count four is the reverse punch. One, two, three, four, each, knee, song, chi, each, Nip, song, chi, each, nip, song, chi. Okay, everyone got it? Now, here's the sequence we're going to do together because we want people only following on to, uh, two steps, two steps. Okay, take half step back. Uh, this one. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, you know, I looks uh, better forward, doesn't it? If you don't mind, could you stand right here, please? And we'll see both of us starting from a down by position. So, uh, looking as well, please. I half step back. Uh, half meter towards camera. Yeah, you're perfect. In fact, you can even go, yeah, and 10 centimeters back. Perfect. Yo, get down by my tail. Okay. Now, actually, we have just enough space, I think, you and I, to go forward one step and back one step. Okay. So, let's make this the first high block. Let's follow along, guys. Middle block, soto uke. Get on the ride. Yeah, let's do the reverse punch. Then we can do one step forward. Each. Now, you can use both hands or not, doesn't matter, but make the movement small directly. Song, chi. That's it. Same sequence. We're just going to take two steps forward, two steps back. Now, stepping back, this fist in front of you is the new attacking hand, right? Uh, 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 again. Each. Song, chi. One step back. Each. Ni. Song, chi. Okay, now what we're going to do is change so that forward is attack, backward is block with reverse punch. So stepping forward, same fist that you have in front of you, punch, jaw down, face down, each. Okay, we're aimed at our face. Next one is solar plexus, next one is belly button. So we're targeting one, two, three. Two, just change hands. Three, dong. Step forward, one, two, three. Now step back is block, one, same on, two, three, one, two, three, okay? Forward, each. This pump, jaw on the to me, okay? Stepping punch to the head. Now we've two done the Akutsuki, it's a reverse punch to the midsection. And then we have Hizami Geidansuki, Son, Dong. One, two, three. Now you can use both arms if you want, but in a minute when we pair up, everything becomes tighter. Each, the Son. And then remember reverse punch. Dong. Each, the Song, dong, ikyo mo, one sequence forward. This is a form of sambon suki, a, a triple punch, a three, a three segment punch. Ich, ni. Now, 
we step back three blocks, reverse motion. Yeesh. One more time. Slow motion and one time back. Slow motion. Yeesh. Yeesh. Back. Yeesh. Yeesh. Let's try it out. Ready? Go forward. Yeesh. Triple bunch. Each. That's it. Good, good, good. Knee. Now the defensive side is moving backwards. Each. Drop this arm out here. Mm -hmm. Each. Knee. Song. Kyakutsuki Joba. Okay? Everyone follow along. Each. Knee. Song. She. He aims. Kyakutsuki Joba. So, uh, reverse strike to the head is any technique. Now he's going to attack with a step this hand. Each. Knee. Song, chi, gong. One more, each. Ni, song, chi. Okay? Now, ikyodo, yukuri, ikyodo, so you can stay in position. Now, with this arm, high one, okay. 
Can't jump, can't jump. Let's start with your arm. Okay. Good. So high one you can is using the back of the arm. Remember we talked about this. This is chudan uchi uke. If you come inside, it's jodan uke. Use the back of the hand. So it's this position. Okay? Why? You'll, you'll find with the part that this is a stronger surface. So we punch, jodan oizuki, right hand, migi, right hand. Second punch, okay. Chudan yakutsuki. Aiming right here. Geidan kizamitsuki, son. Now, same. Uh, uh, oh no, sorry, sorry. Attacking side is uh, attack, attack, attack. Yep. Now, high one, okay, same arm. That's it. The color of the jewel, and the rest stays the same. Song, song, is it? Yes, that, that's it. So, so we're actually only adding a movement. Punch, punch, punch. Block. Instead of the on your grip. Yes, 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 yes. Block. block. Oh, sorry, attack inside. Block. And then rear leg, my giri. That's the new sequence. So let's try it again. So it's three punches. Sambu uke. Each knee. Sahai one uke. Boom. Now your back leg. Kick. That's it. That's the new sequence. Now step punch. Boom. 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 Walk. Now, for those who cannot do this, is the same block as Heian Nidan, Heian Yongdan, and Kankudai. Okay? Kick. That's it. Now, when we move back, walk like right before. Walk. Walk. Block. Do Jodan. Jodan. Now, with the same uh, Jodan punching hand. Uh, is it the same hand? One, two, three, four. Sorry, I have to visualize because it was a cool idea in my head. No, no, no. I want to get. That's it. Okay, let's see what happens. Because let, let's try the partner and then we'll go no, back. No, no, okay. It's not edited out. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can see. I, this is just come, come close with this. Hold the guy. Of course. Yoy. Okay. Direct from here, Agi Uke, this one. Chunan, Keidan, Jodan Oizuki. And now you look at it. As you front, ah, front, wait, wait, wait. Jodan Oizuki. Do Haiwan Uke. And now you look at it. Oh, yeah, defensive side is kick. Correct. Okay. So now. I step forward, you do Agi Uke. Jola, I want to get to the Height ball, attacker is height ball. I do height ball, you do. You do high one Uke. Stay, stay. I do height ball, you do high one Uke. High ball, high one Uke. And then, my Uke. Okay? So, sorry, attacker does height ball, defensive side does my Uke. Okay, attack, Sambo Uke. Bam. 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 I want to uh, Bam. Haito Uchi. Bam. The fence side does, depending on the distance. Here, that would be a knee strike. He's a giddy. And then a counter with kick. In this case, that's a distance because he's so close. That would be the kick. Okay? Step forward, Sangon Tsuki. Bam. I don't like them. I talk. Them. Okay. Okay. Um, now I don't know. Ready? Let's see. Okay. I, I do have to hold. I do and I do. You kick. With this, this track, track, you have to choose your distance. Which leg works? This one was too slow. Really? Yeah. Kick. But if I kick that, that okay, that's better. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, okay. Kick. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. We we screwed up. <laughs> <that. laughs> 
Okay, you attack some of the boss. Zack, Zack, Zack. How about you? Zack. No, no, no. I do high door. I want to know. I do high door. I want to know. Two high door. Yeah. Also, I do high door. Okay, and then. And then. Oh, one of the three. One of the three. Yeah. Okay, okay. one step back. Okay. Sure. So, some of them. Wow, you get us out of the dojo. We can't even put techniques together anymore. One attacker, two, three. Then does Haito Uchi. Exactly. Defender does. You do my key. My key. Okay. Next. One, two, three. Who's attacking? I forgot. Me. So am I good? If you're attacking, no, no, no. If you're attacking, yes, come back to me. I want, I want, okay. Attack with this hypo uchi. And then I react to my game. Now, look, look, I'm too short to keep with this way. Yeah. You look like that. In that case. Okay. So, okay. So attacker's hypo, mm -hmm. defender, my game. But defender was also hypo. Yeah, yeah, it's two. Let's do one more time, slow motion. Okay, ready? Some of the Mm -hmm. 
That's it. Step yes. back. Jaw down. You want to hit the face. That's it. Now use front arm to block. Grab. Front leg. That's it. Forward. Attacking and then block. I pull. One more. Yes. Backwards. Yes. Face. 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 Up. Block. There it is. Knees. Walk, grab. That's it. One more time. Follow along, guys. Each. Ah. Attackers, tight ball. Knees. Back, knees. Tall down. Walk, grab. For watching everybody this is how we uh, at Hayashi Gojo are trying to keep our sanity trying to stay mentally and physically fit the best we can we're trying to piece together slowly the basic techniques so that you can follow along all levels including beginners if you want to try this out in our let's learn karate series now at some point hopefully if it happens when it happens when the world returns to normal and we all go back to work uh, with my busy schedule, hopefully. I won't have time to be presenting these, but uh, you know, during the coronavirus lockdown, hey, we have 10 episodes already of, of, uh, of lessons for training at home to learn karate. Closing thoughts, Marco? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no more closing thoughts. Everything's been said. But of course, in person, it's always more fun than uh, online digitally so uh, it is i'll be happy to see you all soon when we can return to the dojo train as a group it's another energy it's another level of motivation once we're all in the room together the younger members push us to keep doing our thing we try to pass on to the other members to, to raise their their level and it's not a competition you're not competing against others you're competing against yourself okay Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay healthy, stay positive, stay strong. See you next time. Okay, good. <laughs> good workout, Marco. Cool, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, that was good.